All right, so I'm changing the fuel pump check valve on the 1990 300SE. Right here, you can see the, the cap, uh, 17 millimeter, and you're gonna need a 17 millimeter wrench to take off the cap and this inner part right here. So I'll try and get real close. I already changed this thing out, but it's leaking. It came with two washers. Well, it came with a fat washer and a, and a thinner one, and I used both in, in both places. And what do you call it? Make sure you have a fuel pan here. So hold this wrench in place while you put the other wrench on the cap here and turn it counterclockwise. It'll let it come loose here. Anyway, so I already changed this thing out, but it's still leaking. So I'm gonna hold the fuel pump here with my hand while I turn this counterclockwise. Get the check valve off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Teflon tape there before. And I know some people say you're not supposed to do that, but this one's had Teflon tape in it for a long time and the car never exploded, so. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so be real careful not to get uh, gas on yourself when you undo that check valve because a lot will come out as you can see here so when you grab it with your glove make sure the lowest point of your glove isn't your wrist because if it is you're gonna get it all down your sleeve and you're gonna have to go take a bath like I did so okay let's see yeah so I'm gonna put Teflon tape here on the threading And the whole time you're doing this, you're gonna be losing gas, so. Try and do it quickly. switch out this thicker washer for the thinner one. I was just trying to do a little bit of experimentation, figure out where these washers went, but I think I'm gonna use the two smaller, thinner washers, because I just don't see how a thicker washer could be good for sealing better. Maybe I'm just not educated, so. So, I'm gonna screw that in. Looks like the flow of gas stopped, but we'll know in a little bit when it's under pressure, so. I'm gonna support the fuel pump with my hand. Turn this wrench. Clockwise. While I support the fuel pump. Nice, good and tight. Oh. Okay, and do the cap. So now we're gonna tighten the cap on the end. Same 17 millimeter wrench. So you only really need one 17 millimeter wrench to do this. Okay. Support that fuel pump. And you're gonna wipe this area off with a rag. Why? Well, we're wiping it off because in a little bit, we're gonna turn it on, turn on the car, and we're gonna check and see if this dang thing is leaking again. And pray to God that it isn't. So, especially with these, this check valve looks so abused now that I've, I've turned it so many times. We don't wanna strip that. Okay. So make 
picture that you can still see what I'm doing here. Get in the car. See if we uh, have any leaks. see if any gas leaks but it looks like we are in the clear so it looks like that uh looks like that teflon tape did the trick so thank god anyway i'll turn off the tape here thank you for watching comment please like unlike or dislike <laughs> and uh subscribe if you like the video Thank you. Have a great day.